P3-23 will be a uh, optional item for the uh, for the assignments, uh, as will um, 24, 25, 26, and 27. So um, pretty much each of these has uh, has some unique geometry in it, so they're worth while going through. And looking at this shape because of the 75 degree angle, uh, it kind of lends itself to doing the top portion and then generating the uh, the angle and the slot off of that um, uh, that starter geometry. So this is a metric part. So we'll start on the top plane. Uh, shouldn't really matter upper left or upper right corner. Uh, we'll just go ahead with sketching out the, uh, the top shape, get it roughly in position. Okay, and then we can go in and pick our dimension. So 80, that'll get us uh, with the, uh, the scale, 75 degrees between the two non-parallel lines. Overall distance of 70. Let's see, the left leg will be 30, and the depth will be 35. All right, so I will go ahead and include the, uh, the circle location. So uh, previous videos had done the donut. So holding down the right button, and there comes the donut. And moving to the right will put me in the circle command and then back into dimension and one of the things to notice is that I'm not really escaping, selecting, uh, changing uh, changing out of those commands. It's just kind of a fluid process that works most of the time. Occasionally I'll get out of sequence or I'll hit too many buttons but for the most part I can transition from one element to the next um, pretty seamlessly. So 15 that dimension, we go right into the extrude. Um, doesn't uh, doesn't really matter. I think it um, maybe makes more sense since we're giving an o an overall that I reverse the direction. We'll, the top face will actually be the top face, and then we'll uh, minimize the amount of math that we have to do. So 15 millimeters on the thickness. And then we have an overall height of 50, so as to not include this thickness, I'm just going to open up the sketch on the, uh, the top face. And, and then I can select, control select, control select, and convert those entities. And I'm going to drag those out. Now I could offset. Uh, we have a, um, a thickness. So the thing to watch out for is, let's see, we're going to have 8 millimeters here. And I'm going to drag, well, we'll put a line in place. And then I'll make that line parallel. Okay, and then, so it had the angle, now it has the parallel. And then my concern was that that thickness will actually end up being 7.73 if we make the end 8 millimeters. So the question would be, does it need to be 8 millimeters on the thickness of the wall or 8 millimeters at the end of the, of the flange? All right, so based on the, uh, the sketch, let me fly this back in real quick. Based on this, it looks like the extension lines are coming the face, but that would be a, a valid question is, um, you know, if we go in and do the alignment, and I'll have a driven dimension. All right, so between the two, uh, we're about a quarter of a millimeter, which is pretty close to ten thousandths of an inch. That, um, you know, is kind of unaccounted for. So let's go ahead and extrude that out. Uh, we're giving it a thickness of 50 millimeters. 
and because it's merging re the result this positive passing through the positive uh, yields no net result it's uh, just going to remain a solid if something uh, happened that I uncheck the merge result then this overlap would duplicate the volume duplicate the uh, the mass of that entity all right so we'll open up the sketch and go into the uh, the slot tool and so I didn't really pay attention if I had the endpoints or the uh, the slots uh, we have a thickness of 12 so I won't uh, pick the uh, the arcs we'll just go between the two lines from the base to the base of the slot is 10 and we have an overall of 50 so here's one of those little tricks that I've been having you pick the uh, the perimeters and so if I pick a uh, an arc and then I hold down the shift instead of just picking the arc it will auto automatically go to that max or min condition All right, so since I didn't do that on the first one I'm just gonna go ahead and accept whatever it gives me go over to the dimension and the property manager and switch to the leaders tab and then say that we're at max and max so that when I set the 50 it's actually there all right so I'm gonna try that again we have from the edge and then I'm gonna hold down the shift button and when I select the arc it's going to give me now a min condition of 15 millimeters and yeah it looks like it um, positioned pretty well but um, you know this thickness doesn't quite look the same as in the uh, in the drawing so let's go ahead and extrude cut up to next All right and the assumption is that that will be um, normal to the uh, to the face instead of straight through. All right, so if we go to isometric view, this does look a little narrower, and then possibly if uh, we wanted that to go through at the angle, but typically you would think that a bolt, nut, uh, washer combination sliding back and forth, that it would be uh, more critical to be normal to the face than uh, to the, um, uh, into the direction but if something happened let's let's explore that real quick if something was a requirement that we needed to be in alignment with the right plane or these vertical faces then I could do up to next and the box that we typically jump over is the direction of the extrusion and so if I give it direction of the extrusion in one of the uh, edges then that will shift it around and probably can see it better in the uh, the top with a hidden lines visible all right that those are now staying parallel to the edges where if I go back in and edit that feature it's going to be now parallel uh, perpendicular to the face so decisions that we have to make in the process and from a manufacturing point if I'm already in location or I've located for this geometry even if I'm better at um, uh, putting this down onto the uh, to the vise and closing it and having a vertical uh, slot um, the functionality really says that it being perpendicular to that face and machining in a 15 degree angle would still be better all right so that's our uh, that's our part we'll go ahead and save it and go on to the next one